Good morning, everybody. It's a big day today because it's time to plant some onions. Well, I gotta head out to my cousins to borrow their tractor. They have a littler tractor, and uh, we use that every year to plant our onions. And the reason for that is because they have a narrower wheelbase on their tractor. It's like a smaller tractor they just use for like mowing their lawn. And uh, what we do is we bring it back here and then we actually switch the tires around. We flip them backwards so that it makes even an even smaller wheelbase so that we can get through the field to plant onions. And uh, dad's getting the field ready now. So hopefully tomorrow morning we're gonna start planting them. But uh, Ben's gonna take me out there. I'm gonna pick it up, I'm gonna drive it back and then we're gonna start flipping the tires around. All right, so uh, we just got the tractor back from my cousins. And what we're doing is switching the tires around. We're flipping the whole tire right around in circles. We're actually gonna put this tire over here and that tire over here. And the reason for that is because the wheelbase is too wide to fit through our rows for the onions. And so I'm gonna jack this thing up and uh, Ben's gonna help me if I can get this. So we're gonna move. It's not easy. There's no really flat parts underneath this tractor to uh, jack it up with, so. It kind of wants to teeter, but we'll get it as best we can. Just get some action underneath there, Ben. I'll get some double pump action here. See how that board's tipping? That's okay. I hope. Perfect. Now, our tires are gonna spin. Let me put the brake on. Now, the tires are locked. It's on. First try, baby. With the uh, one inch, if I can get that in here. Get some of that good, good, good action, you know what I mean? <laughs> Let me show you a little key, a little tip here. <laughs> when you get this stuck, you, you screw this one inside and uh, give a little wiggle. Boom. Zoom in on this right here. Milwaukee's the only brand you go with. Sponsored. I'm just gonna get sponsored. Yeah. I'm getting a new drill out of this. All right, so I'll take this one off. The tractor don't tip over when I take this off. Okay. You have to get real like, turn it like towards you. Roll back right there. Perfect. Now the bottom's off. Okay. I did a lot of that for a minute. You got it? Do you want to go grab this? All right, so we got the tires switched around. So now I'm just putting the uh, bolts back in. I'm gonna tighten them down and they'll be ready to plant onions. We're not gonna plant onions today just because it's getting later and dad's still getting the fields ready. But we're gonna start first thing in the morning. All right, so I just got the tires flipped around on the tractor. It looks really good. I mean, it's not like there's anything that complicated, but uh, so now that this is ready to go, I gotta go down to the planter, get that greased up, and then we'll be ready to go tomorrow morning. So, uh, Ben's buddy wants a tire for working out or something like that, and we used to have a tire screen a couple years ago, uh, back in the woods, a big tractor tire, so we're gonna go see if we can find it. Hold on, tire. Oh, that's a baby little thing. It's not as big as I thought. <laughs> baby was bigger back in the day. What is that? She's definitely gonna get takes one. Yeah, it's not a very big tire, is it? 
Maybe I should try flipping it and we'll see. Flip that a couple times. Let me test it. Ah! Not heavy enough? Ooh, nasty. That smells bad. Well, yeah, it's been sitting there for years. All right, Ben's gonna attempt to climb this chain that the tire swing was on. I don't think he can do it. He's pretty weak, but uh, we'll find out here. He's afraid the chain's gonna break. It's got like three bolts in it up there to hold it. Come on. Get up there. I wanna see you touch the top of that tree. Come on. Are you serious? That's it. What if I get up too high and I can't get you down? <laughs> Like, what if I get up there and my arms hurt and then I have to let go? <laughs> I break my legs. You want me to do it? Yeah. I mean, you can't actually climb this. I don't think I can. That's cap. I could. Oh, that shit's going to come down. Don't get caught on the hook. Yeah. It ain't nothing for me. I feel like I just had to touch the tree just to see how it. Watch my shorts get caught in a hook or something. Oh no, we're good. So here we are, day two. Uh, we had a little trouble with the tractor yesterday. Um, the battery was the battery died, I guess, and uh, we couldn't even charge it. It was that dead. So we had to put a new used battery in it from an old car we had that we got rid of. And uh, so now I'm just in here in the high tunnels. I just started the water up. Uh, I turn it on here, it's gonna come through the lines. <clears throat> it's gonna go out the drip lines here. And once it gets all the way down in all six rows, then my pressure gauges will start building up like it is right here. And uh, we like to run it between 10 and 15 PSI. Right now it's almost at 10. And uh, then we're probably gonna give these about an hour or two of water. And then these will be good for today. And I also gotta head down to the second one and get that one watering also. All right, so I got that where I want it, right around 12 PSI. And uh, now Dad's over at the planter, getting ready to plant onions. He's greasing everything. I miss Dad. He already got the planter and the tractor hooked up. He's heading to the field. I'm picking up Mom now. I just hooked the tractor up to the wagon. And uh, we're ready to rock. I don't know what she's doing. She's taking forever. We gotta get going. Dad's gonna start getting mad. There she comes. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Let's go! I'm just getting back from lunch here. I'm in the onion field. We got eight rows done so far. I don't know if you can see what it looks like. It's hard to see on my camera here. But uh, this is the planner we're using. It's an older style planner. It's only a one row. Uh, a lot of guys around here have two rows, but the nice thing about this one is it does a really, really good job planning. Like a lot of guys I see, um, they always have people walking behind them. Because after a plant set, if it's rocky or the soil's hard, it won't cover the plant real well. But with this one row, it just covers them perfect, and uh, we don't have to have anybody come behind and recover them. Like, that's, that's exactly what you want to see right there. It's not supposed to rain, but you can definitely tell it's storming way over there on those mountains. Uh, hopefully it doesn't hit us. The wind is kind of blowing this direction, but I guess we'll see what happens. You can see where we started right there by the oats, and then we're going to fill this whole field up down to the rye down there and we should fit about 25 to 30,000 onions. Here comes Sammy. Stay here, Sam. Hi, baby! <laughs> Smiles and tongues! Yeah! 
All right, so we're almost done. We planted the yellow onions here, and then we moved into the red. And now we're on the last section of whites. We have about eight rows left. There was 28 to go, 28 when we started. So uh, we're on the home stretch. I think we're gonna finish today, but we're all getting tired and fatigued, so I'm not sure. So we didn't quite finish the onions. We have about four rows left. It was just getting late. We all getting tired. But uh, before I end this video, I wanted to show you how the strawberries are looking. Um, probably in about two, three weeks, we're gonna be starting to pick, hopefully. We don't get a frost or nothing. But uh, they're really looking nice. All those blossoms are gonna turn into beautiful berries. Uh, and all the way out through, they're looking that nice. And the other field is looking really nice also. They're, they're just not coming up quite as well, which I showed you in my earlier videos when we were strawing. We got the weed whacker still out here because Logan is out here. Well, he's been out here for the past two days anyway. Weed whacking, making sure everything is beautiful and pretty. That way when people come for the U-Pick, there's no weeds or there's nothing in the way. So, uh, yeah, I think we're just about ready in this field. He's got a little bit of weed whacking doing the other field. And then... Let the people come. So then we're gonna wake up early tomorrow morning and finish planting those couple rows of onions. And then we're gonna move right into planting cabbage, cauliflower, and broccoli in the field right next to that. So don't forget to subscribe to this channel to see all my upcoming videos of what's going on. And always remember, it ain't much, but it's honest work. Give it a wink, Case. Give it a wink. You get the point.